This is the chrome dome, and this is only for when you're shooting group photos at a distance. Let me show you the, the theory behind it. When I put it on, look what happens. There's a hot spot way up on the top and you see how it sends light to the ceiling? So what that does is it gives you kind of like a periscope effect. The light that would have been here now goes up about uh, six inches. And the reason why that's important is because the higher the light is, the more modeling you'll get. The more of the chin uh, will look a little bit more three-dimensional rather than like a harsh straight on passport photo. Additionally, it has an open top so that it, it will uh, send a lot more light into the dome. And also, uh, so you don't lose power or efficiency. It's got a kicker panel in the back, which then keeps the light from going backwards, so you won't light up the back wall, as you'll see right here. The back wall's not being lit, and I'm directing all the light forward. Now this is, of course, it's going to be a little bit more specular. It won't be as soft. There is a little bit more of a uh, forward pointing. But the nice thing is, is you still get the wide angle. This is something like at a 28 millimeter, and it'll, it'll do a full wide angle. In fact, um, I, d I did a shot yesterday in the booth on a 5D with a 16 to 35 lens and we have edge to edge. This thing will actually shoot all the way out to 14 millimeters with no vignetting because uh, it really is a sphere. No matter how you look at it, the light comes out basically the same because it's like a big ball of, of light.